Welcome back, you guys, for another great workout with us today. We're so glad that you tuned in. And if you're new to Dollar Workout Club, welcome. I'll introduce us. My name is Lynn, and since I'm wearing green, I'm going to show you the beginner modifications to the exercise moves today. Natalie is wearing yellow, which means she's going to show you the intermediate level. And Drew is wearing red, so he's going to show you the advanced version of the three exercise moves we're doing today. So what we'll first go ahead and do is go through each of the moves with the modifications. That way you do know who to follow at home. Now, Natalie's going to help by showing both the green and ye yellow version so that I can explain the movement. So the first move we're doing are called tricep push-ups. It's a really hard move because our tricep is a really small muscle right here on your arm. What you're gonna go ahead and do is it's similar to when we do push-ups against the wall, but instead you're gonna have your arms be together more narrow. As you can see Natalie doing right here, she has them pretty close. No further than shoulder width apart is the rule that I like to do. You take a large step back from the wall, come up on your toes, then you hinge at your elbow, bringing your forearms all the way till they touch the wall, and then push back through your palms to start in the starting position, which is gonna to engage your tricep muscle. Yellow and red is going to be doing a similar move. The only difference is yellow is going to be on their knees while red is on their feet. They're going to have their arms again closer together. They're going to have their back flat, their butt down, and then they're going to hinge at the elbow, bringing their body all the way to the ground, and then they're going to push up through their palms to come to that starting position. Natalie and I always say this is one of the hardest movements in our opinion. So I think this is the hardest the single hardest exercise move we do in Dollar Workout Club. Drew doesn't say that, but he also has abnormally large tricep muscles, <laughs> so he cannot be trusted. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, the next one we're doing are plank, up, up, down, down, and again, Green's gonna be doing this against the wall. So you're gonna be in your forearm <laughs> position. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna take it. a large step away from the wall, holding yourself in that flat plank, plank position. You're gonna lead up, pressing one palm in to push your body away, and then the other one, and then come back down. That's why we call it plank, up, up, down, down. Now the key to remember, the arm that you're leading up on is gonna get a lot more work, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you alternate every once in a while the hand you lead up on. Yellow and red are doing this exact same movement on the ground, and the only difference is that yellow is gonna be on their knees. <clears throat> holding in that plank position, starting on their <clears throat> forearms. They're gonna press up to come up into a plank on their hands and then come back down just like you see here. Really works those shoulders and your core at the same oh, time. It's a great a, movement. It's a tough move. All right, the last movement we're doing is scooping bicep curls. And we're all doing the exact same thing. The only difference is gonna be the weight that we're using. So for me, I'm gonna use soup <coughs> cans. You can see Natalie's using dish soap, anything you find around the house that's weighted, and Drew's using dumbbells. <coughs> you're gonna start with your elbows digging into your side with your palms facing towards each other while you hold that weight. You're gonna bring that weight down, and then imagine kind of scooping ice cream. That's why we call them scooping <coughs> curls. And then bringing it up to your mouth to eat, and then rotating it back out, coming down, scooping it up to a chest level, squeezing that bicep through throughout the movement. So those are the three movements we're doing, you guys. Hopefully you know who to follow based on those modifications. And don't worry, the workout will be on the <coughs> screen, and we'll be doing these movements with you so you can follow along with us. Natalie and I are gonna get started with a little jog for a warm up. Follow along with us while <coughs> Drew explains the structure of the workout for us today. All right, if you guys were here yesterday, you already know the structure, but for those of you who weren't, basically what we're doing is the same thing. We're doing Tabata style uh, for today's workout. So we're doing 20 seconds of the tricep push-ups followed by 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of the plank up, up, down, down, followed by 10 seconds of rest, and then 20 seconds of the scooping bicep curls, followed by 10 seconds of rest. And then we just repeat that cycle until the full 12 minutes is up. So what it comes down to is eight total rounds of that, and you're just doing 20 seconds of work at a time, and we give you a little 10 second break, and all this will be on the screen for you to follow along as well, and we'll be prompting you throughout the workout, telling you when to stop, when to start, and so that way you won't get lost. So we're just doing a few light dips. I'm showing how you can do them on the ground, warming up. Almost ready. Make Grab sure you some have water. some weight. Yeah. All right. For so sure. Weights, water, and we're gonna get started in just a few seconds. All right. I'm gonna start getting into position because I'm gonna be doing it against the wall at the beginner level. We're starting in three, two, one. Tricep push-ups. Now remember, the key here is you want to keep those elbows in tight. Okay, you don't want your elbows coming out to the side. That's gonna work more of your chest muscle. Really make sure you keep those elbows in tight and then push through the palms and engage your tricep as you push out of that position. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, up, up down, down, plank. So just to give you guys an idea, normal push-ups, I can do 12 or 13 in 20 seconds. Tricep push-ups, I can only do five or six. Yeah, it's definitely a hard movement. Now you guys go, have these. Go, go. Oh, sorry, I started early. <laughs> just ignore me over here. 
So with the plank up, 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 down, down, remember you're gonna wanna alternate which hand you push up on because that's gonna be engaged more, your shoulder, than the other hand. So make sure that you are rotating either every other round or every few seconds. Two, one, and rest. Shake it out, <coughs> bicep curls. Here we go. In three, two, one, and work. Make sure to squeeze at the top yeah. before you separate. Squeeze those biceps. It's really important to make sure that you're twisting your wrist and alternating the position of your hand. And what that does is it works different aspects of your back bicep muscle to get the full complete. Muscle. Here we go. And right. rest. Oh. All right, All one right. round down. Seven more of those. <sighs> bicep push up. Sure yeah, just yes no. Three, two, one, and work. The key on these tricep push-ups is to keep your elbows tucked in close to your body. And that, what that will do is it will engage your tricep muscle and use that teeny tiny muscle to push all your body weight up off the ground. And really make sure you're keeping that back flat, that butt down, just like normal push-up position. Two, one, and rest. It's really easy to compromise form because it gets really hard. If you need to take a break, that's okay, but keep proper form. Here we go. Two, one, plank, plank, up, up, down, down. Plank, 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 plank up, up, plank, down, plank. down. Nice now on, job, you guys. on these, you can alternate either each time you go up, or what I've been doing is doing 10 seconds on one side, 10 seconds on the other with the hand that you push up off the ground with. Yep. Make sure you're rotating, though, leading up with the other hand at least halfway of the time. Two, one, oh my and gosh. rest. Oh, Lynn, are you trying to kill us? <laughs> we are, because that is a lot of arm workout, and I know that you're good. you guys are sore like we are. Here we Two, go. One, and go. Curls for the girls. Try Let's do it. Again. So as you lift the weight up, <clears throat> you want your palms facing out, and as you bring the weight down, you want your palm facing each other. And really make sure you squeeze that bicep at the top of the movement, you guys. Give it like a one second pause Almost real there. quick. Here we go. Two. One, nice job. Shake out those arms. Right. Good. I know these breaks don't even feel like breaks. We have to get right back into position. Three, two, one, and go. Tricep push-ups. Now remember the green version, if you feel like this is too easy, take a larger step away from the wall and it's gonna make the movement a lot harder. And if you feel like it's too hard, take a little step in towards the wall to make it a little easier, okay? Customize it so it's challenging for you. Almost there. Almost there, three, two, one, shake it out. Nice job. Now you guys remember we always emphasize perfect form oh. over speed. Here we go, plank, up, up, down, down. So especially on those tricep push-ups, if you notice yourself kind of rolling out of position, or sometimes we call it sneaking out of it, that's really bad form. And I would rather you drop down a level and have perfect form than to try to stay at a certain level with bad form. Absolutely. Three, two, one, and break. Oh my Good goodness. example of that is if you go into the next round of tricep push-ups and you can only do one uh, or you can't even do one, then go go down to green yeah. for the rest of it. Go. And work. Because it is better to go down a level and complete proper form than it is for you to use improper form. You're not gonna work the same muscle and you might injure yourself. Another thing that you could do is alternate. So maybe one round you do yellow, one round you do green, or one round you do yellow, one round you do red. Two, one, and rest. All right, five more to go. All right, you guys. We got this. Almost Shake halfway out those there. arms. Okay. Oh, Two, one, tricep push-ups. Make sure you challenge yourself. I know Drew was before we started filming was like, you know, you guys, I sometimes do get sick of doing all the tricep push-ups because we make him do red because he's so good at them. But the truth is, is at home when I do these workouts, two, one, and rest. When I do these workouts at home, I do them at the red level, even though I can't do as many because it's the only way I'm really gonna strengthen that muscle group. Here we go, two, one, plank, up, up, down, down. Let's work. Keep that core tight, you guys. Keep your butt flat. Really engage, squeeze that core, make sure you alternate which hand you're leading up on. Your arms and especially your shoulders should just be completely on fire right now. Here we go. Two, one, and oh rest. Oh, shake out those oh. arms. So this is the point in the game where, ready, go. It'd be so easy to think, oh my gosh, my arms burn, this is impossible. 
I'm just gonna call it good in a six minute workout. And that's where, you know, you hear us talk a lot about integrity to yourself, and that's where you're really gonna have to prove to yourself that you can start something and you can finish it. Almost there, let's Absolutely. go. Absolutely, we got this, you guys. Two, one. Halfway oh, done. Stop. Halfway, half time. <sighs> Always feels good to know that we're halfway through it, you guys. It's all downhill from here. Two, one, <sighs> tricep push-ups. Try and keep that same number that you started with. For me, that six. I only got five last round and I felt kind of disappointed. <sighs> yep, really challenge yourself, you guys. And a great way to do that, since this is you versus you, is to count how many you get. If you haven't done that yet, do it next round and try to stay consistent. Stop, rest. <sighs> Shake it out. <clears throat> Here we go. In two, one, and plank. My arms feel super tight right now, like a, almost like a stretched rubber band. Squeeze that core through this movement, you guys. This is a great, I know your arms and shoulders are burnt out, but this is a great core workout too. Make sure you're really engaging that core. Think belly button to spine, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. In three, two, one, nice. Here we go. All right, grabbing that weight. Get a quick drink of water if you need it. Here we go, three, two, one and work. Really make sure that you have good form. And what I mean by that is that really the only part of your arm that should be moving is from your elbow to your wrist. And I, what I don't want to see you guys doing is swinging the weight up like this or just kind of like flailing those weights in the air. If you can't control the movement, then you have too heavy of a weight. Relax. And rest. And you really want the movement to be hard by to the go. end of that 20 seconds. Okay, if it's not, then you might want to hit pause and grab a heavier weight for the rest of the workout. Two, one, tricep push-ups. Nice job, focusing on form. Remember, every rep counts, quality over quantity. Keep those elbows tucked in tight, back flat, butt down. Squeeze that core as you're doing this movement. Here we go, rest. Nice job. Oh. I know, that's how I feel every time I do those. Here we go. Okay, going into the plank in two, one, work. Hey guys, on this movement, in every single color, you want to make sure that you're not sticking your butt into the air or sinking your hips into the ground. Yep, quality reps, you guys. Focus on good form. If you're forgetting form, look at, look at us on the screen and make sure that you're staying in the same position we are. Stop. Rest. Shaking it out. Good job, Almost guys. there, you guys. We have three and a half minutes left. On the final stretch. And work. So like I was saying, the last time we were doing this, you really want to make sure by the end of the 20 seconds, it should be hard for you to lift the weight up and do this movement. You really want to make sure, especially when we're doing movements like this that are designed a lot more for building muscle than for cardiovascular benefit, that you use a heavy enough weight too. One. Oh my gosh. Good job. Like, Two more to go, you guys. Feel like yellow at this point. Yeah. Two more to go. Like those scooping curls were hard for me to finish. Two, like, one, tricep push up. Okay, two more rounds. That's it. For me, that means only 12 more push ups. Nice job, you guys. Every round counts, every rep counts. This is you versus you. Challenge yourself to just complete the workout. Some days are harder than others. You may not have as much energy today, and that's okay. All we ask is that you give it your all. Two, one rest. Yeah, I did seven. Oh. Shaking it out. Nice job. Here we go with the planks. In two, one, and plank. Make sure you're alternating the hand that you're leading up on every few, few reps, or if you did it every other round. Good job. Make it even. Good job, you guys. Make these last couple minutes really count. Push through it. Three, two, one, uh, nice job, shaking that out. Okay. Ooh, uh, okay, two minutes left, guys, that's it. Here we go. <clears throat> and two, one, and work. Good job, guys, I'm really proud of you. This is a tough, 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 tough workout. Your arms will be so nice and sculpted after this. Remember, as we keep good form, it helps to squeeze those butt cheeks, squeeze that core. That way you're not throwing that weight around, only using your upper body. Two, one. Oh, you guys, last hey guys, round. This is our last round of every exercise. I'm gonna really push myself. Do more reps than I've done any other last round. Last round, best round. Two, go. one, work. Like Natalie said, this is where we dig deep. 
We try to really go as fast as we can, full intensity, giving it everything you got. This is the last time you're doing this move, you guys. As you can see, we're all really challenging ourselves. Try to keep at least as much intensity as you did on round one, two, one, and done with that. Nice, shake that out, you guys. Last time we had to do those. Now we're in for the planks. Two, one, work. Okay, go super speed, super speed. Come Fast, on, guys. Up, up, down, down. Make sure at some point you alternate the hand you're leading up on. Keep good posture, but really push yourself here. Okay? Challenge, get as many reps as you can. Five more seconds. Go, go, go Come time. On, quick, 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 quick. Come on. Two, one. <sighs> nice. 20 seconds of work left. Oh, That's shake it, guys. it out, you guys. <coughs> All right, last 20 seconds of work, and go. You got this. Finishing strong here, you guys. We're so proud of you at home. I know these Tabatas are really hard, okay? Very little rest, a lot of intensity. We're just proud that you finish each of the workouts. A few more seconds, two, one, oh my God. and Good job, done. yes. We're done. Done and done. <sighs> Ooh, shake that out for a second. I'm just gonna get a quick drink of water. Oh. Try to slow that heart rate down, and we're gonna finish with a couple stretches. The blood's pumping. All right, we're gonna do a tricep stretch. What I want you to do is lift one of your arms above your head, bending at the elbow, bring that hand down so that the palm of your hand is on your back, trying to inch its way down your back. You're gonna use your other arm to press your elbow down. And as you push that elbow down and reach that hand down your back, you'll feel a really nice pull through your tricep muscle. With every breath, as you breathe out, try to inch your hand a little <clears throat> bit further down your back. I don't know about you guys, but right now I'm really proud of myself. Oh, I gave everything I had side. in that workout. Like I really pushed hard at the end, picked up the pace. And like right now, this feeling when I'm proud of myself, this is what I try to memorize this feeling. So that way on those days when I just don't want to lace up my shoes and I don't want to hit play, I try to come back to this moment and remember how good it feels to be done. Yeah, for sure. All right, we're gonna uh, put our arms out to do a bicep stretch. Go ahead and twist those thumbs so that they're facing towards the back of the wall. Keep really twisting, holding it out so that you're Arms are parallel with the ground, pushing back. You should feel a good stretch in those biceps. I know it's kind of hard to do this when, you're like, when your arms are yeah. sore. Just hold it for a few more seconds. Oh, nice job. Shake those arms out real quick. We're gonna come down to the floor or mat for a quick cobra stretch because we also work that core and those planks. Go ahead and lay flat down. You're gonna wanna think about keeping your legs and your hips firm, firmly planted while only lifting your upper body. So having your arms up by your head, <coughs> pressing through those palms. I like to look <coughs> up towards the ceiling. You should feel a really good stretch throughout your core. I always get a deeper stretch if I imagine kind of pushing my hip bones into the ground. If you can't reach up that high, your elbows are bent, or you're on your forearms, that's okay too. Good job, guys. Breathe through it, just a couple more seconds. How you feeling oh. over there, Drew? Nice job, you guys. That was Slowly tough. come Looking out good, of that. Feeling good. <laughs> that Ought to be in Hollywood. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're so proud of you. I know these Tabata workouts have been tough. We only have one more for the week. So make sure you log in tomorrow and you work out with us. We appreciate you. We're so proud of you. Stick around for the recipe and motivation video next. See, See you guys. guys tomorrow. Hey guys, we have a question here from Josh. Josh asks, uh, what are some things you can add to your smoothie to make it a little bit healthier? Uh, this is a good question, Josh. Um, some things that I like to add to my smoothies to make them a little bit healthier are a couple things. One is chia seeds, uh, which are these little tiny, tiny seeds that you can add to your smoothie that don't taste like anything. 
but they have amazing benefits. They are very high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for your heart health, um, among many other things. And then um, they are also uh, high in antioxidants as well. Uh, the second thing I like to add to my smoothies that makes it a little bit healthier. The other thing I like to add to my smoothies are cacao nibs. Now, if you don't know what cacao nibs are, you can Google it, but basically it comes from the cacao bean, right, which is where chocolate comes from. So it gives your smoothie a bit of a chocolatey flavor, but don't expect like a milk chocolate, <laughs> no. you know, Hershey's Nest Quick type of flavor. It's actually very bitter, right? But the cacao bean by itself, it tastes disgusting, right? <laughs> That's why they add so much milk and sugar to chocolate to make it taste better. But it has amazing benefits. Very high in antioxidants, uh, high in magnesium, which is a, a vitamin or nutrient that a lot of Americans are very deficient in. And uh, it's a good source of iron as well. So these are two superfoods that I add to my smoothies. So you don't really notice a difference. Um, and they add a, a lot more uh, health benefits and nutrient density to your smoothie. Yeah, and a lot of times, instead of just using water, I'll use unsweetened vanilla almond milk, the one that's usually 30 or 35 calories. And a lot of people say, why are you using almond milk? Or almonds can make milk, and <laughs> <laughs> almonds don't make milk. It's, it's just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all you do it's is, <laughs> he's joking. She's not gonna be able to finish. Uh, we have fun here at Delaware Cup Club, as you can tell. Drew is a goofball. Um, no, almond milk basically is just almonds that have sat in water and then it, the milky consistency that it puts off, they pull that out and it turns it into what they call a milk product. And I just like to use it because it's lower calorie than regular milk and lower in carbohydrates, but it still adds um, a little bit of flavor and thickness to your shake as opposed to just using water. Uh, then I also add, often, I will add flaxseed to my shake. And flaxseed is one of the most nutritious uh, plant-based foods that you can eat or that you can add to your shake. It's a superfood. It's really high in omega-3 fatty acids. Um, one of the highest from, uh, from plants. It has, I think, 1.8 grams of plant omega-3s per tablespoon of ground flaxseed. And yeah, it's also really high in fiber, which is good for your digestive health. So if you're having issues being regular, flaxseed could be a good thing to add to your smoothies. And it is also high in lignans, which um, uh, has are really high in antioxidants. So those are kind of the three key benefits of flaxseed. The only thing I want to add and just touch on real quick is just know that everything you do add to your smoothie has calories. So if you're wondering why am I not losing weight, it may be that all the extra things you're adding to your smoothie could be putting you in a calorie surplus. So I'm not discouraging you from using these things. I just want you to be aware that um, adding anything is going to increase your and take out the shake. Well, one of the main things that I add to my smoothies, which is great because it's actually very low in calories, so you really are not going to overdo it with this, is spinach. Um, and the great thing about spinach is when put into a smoothie with um, some tart fruit, or if you're doing something like a peanut butter protein mixture, which is like my favorite, it completely masks the taste, which is great because who likes eating spinach raw? Some people do, but I don't. But I love them in my shakes, because really, you guys, I don't taste the difference. It does turn green. We joke around with our kids and say they're like power energy green shakes, you know, and so that they don't think it's gross or weird. And you know, um, spinach is a good source of protein. It has um, iron in it, which is great for you. It has a lot of other vitamins and nutrients, so it's very nutrient dense. So those are some tips of things that you guys can add to your smoothies or protein shakes in the morning to make them even healthier and get a little superfood charge. And hopefully that answers your questions. If you have any other comments or questions, leave them in the video below and we'll see you guys later. Hey you guys, thank you so much for being a part of Dollar Workout Club. We love having you guys as a member and we love seeing the photos that you've been tagging us in. If you haven't tagged us in some photos yet, here are the hashtag below. So if you try the recipe of the day or if you want to comment how your fitness workout went today, make sure to leave it in the comment section. You guys, we check those, okay? We check those every day. We love responding to you guys. We're having so much fun with you being a part of the club. Make sure to follow us on all the social media outlets and we'll see you guys tomorrow.